Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I say this is Intervlog, and I am here once more. I'm here because there is one important information that I brought to you today. And after watching this news, you will believe me that it is an important information indeed. And the information is coming from Burkina Faso. We never thought that Burkina Faso will be so quick to develop as it is happening today. The type of developments that are coming to Burkina Faso are the type that every African country has dreamt of. And you would ask me, what is that? Well, Burkina Faso is about to surprise the world entirely. Burkina Faso is launching Burkina Sat 2. This is satellite. The satellite that will be on the air and be monitoring whatever that is happening in Burkina Faso. This satellite is going to help Burkina Faso protect its territory. Any car moving in Burkina Faso will be seen by this satellite. Any movement by a human being, any militant trying to attack anybody will be monitored live. And apart from that, this satellite is also going to help for weather report in Burkina Faso. I mean, accurate weather report. It is also going to help for the change of any environmental season. This is going to be a game changer. This is also going to help the farmers to know when the rain is going to fall, when the rain is not going to fall, when is the best time to plant a seed or not. This type of technology that we used to see in Europe, America, Asia, Australia has landed in Burkina Faso. And everybody is celebrating right now because the government of Ibrahim Traoré has explained to people what is about to happen. And one of the amazing thing about this launching of satellite is that Burkinabe engineers contributed for the production of this satellite. And everybody is rejoicing. Everybody is praising the Burkina Faso engineers. This is marvelous. Well, let's go and see how it happened because what Africa had been dreaming of is about to happen in Burkina Faso. Let's go. Good news for Burkina Faso. The country will soon have a satellite. At the end of December 2024, the Burkina Faso satellite should be launched into space. Burkina Faso has been working hard for several years to make its own satellite available in order to respond to the needs and challenges of the moment. This includes, among other things, security surveillance of its territory, rain alerts, and monitoring of the effects related to climate change, and that's not all. Well, unless the situation changes, the launch of Burkina Sat 1 should take place at the end of 2024. Everything is ready. It is Professor Frederick Oatara, the same one who follows this project, who made this announcement. Burkina Faso launches groundbreaking Burkina Sat 1, project to propel technological innovation. Burkina Faso has taken a significant step forward in innovation and the realization of its ambitious goals with the commencement of its first satellite, Burkina Sat 1. This Earth Observation Nano Satellite is set to transform the lives of the nation's citizens by offering new opportunities for technological advancement and connectivity. The Burkina Sat 1 project, led by Professor Frederick Watera, a renowned space scientist and president of Norbert Zongo University, marks a milestone in the country's journey towards becoming a spacefaring nation. The satellite will be constructed locally at Norbert Zongo University, utilizing both in-country resources and expertise from the Burkina Bay diaspora, announced the start of the construction phase following the successful completion of the ground station, the project's first phase. The government of Burkina Faso has committed 110 million FCFA, approximately USD 200,000, to fund the procurement of satellite components with future phases, including the satellite's launch and operationalization, expected to require an additional 350, 400 million FCFA, approximately USD $640,000 to $740,000 expressed optimism about the satellite's potential in remote sensing, disaster prevention, and research and development. 
Professor Ouattara, who secured the government's commitment to the project, emphasized the strategic importance of Burkina Sat 1 for the nation's food security, disaster management, and overall scientific advancement. The project has garnered strong support from the Burkina Bay government and the scientific community, with Professor Watara's team being bolstered by experts from the country's Energy and Meteorology Research Laboratory, La Reme, and skilled professionals from the diaspora. Burkina Faso's minister in charge of scientific research, Professor Alkasum Maiga, underscored the project's importance, stating, Burkina is proud of what has been done. If there is one project that needs to be moved forward, it is this one. It is of strategic interest, if only for our food security, to prevent disasters and certain diseases. We bet on the right horse. As Burkina Faso embarks on this groundbreaking satellite project, the nation stands on the brink of significant technological and scientific advancements that promise to improve communication, education, and development, while also bolstering national security efforts against ongoing insurgencies. After watching this news, I was shaken with the happiness, and my happiness was directed into one person because he is actually the one who generated this happiness that was transferred into my heart, which made me to be shaken. And that person is Ibrahim Traoré. And I always talk about good governance. When you have a good leader, a leader who always think about his people, nothing is unachievable. This man has I've been in office not up to three years, but see what he is doing in Burkina Faso. It's unbelievable how Burkina Faso is progressing. Four years ago, many of my subscribers here never knew that there is a country called Burkina Faso. Today, they are all happy, applauding, watching, subscribing with the happiness. The same happiness that had been transferred to me had been transferred to million, million, million Africans around the earth. And this is beautiful. And, this is the reason I say, when you have a president who, whose achievement is to drive exotic cars like Toyota Land Cruiser, which they are driving everywhere in Africa, that president is not good for you. When you see a president who enters into office and began to approve Toyota Land Cruiser SUVs for lawmakers, for senators, for local government chairmen, for governors, that president is not good for you because he his action has already shown that he has come for enjoyment. No good worker would like to enjoy before the result of his work. No businessman would open a store and began to enjoy before knowing how his business is going to progress or not. Ibrahim Traoré came into office and his first step showed everybody that this man is different. He rejected Toyota Land Cruiser SUV from anywhere. He refused to approve Toyota Land Cruiser SUVs for any politician in Burkina Faso. He says, whoever wants to buy a car should use his or her money to buy it. But he is not going to approve for any Toyota Land Cruiser SUV for anybody. After some people who are smart have seen this, they notice that this man is going to do wonder because check about other presidents around him in the same West Africa. See the type of flamboyant life they are living there. Some of them have approved about 1,000 pieces Toyota Land Cruises and shared it among their fellow politicians. Betty Brahim, Baore, came into power and said, this type of thing can never happen in Burkina Faso. Now see the results. The type of technology that never happened in Nigeria is now happening in Burkina Faso. The type of technology that are never happening in Ghana is now happening in Burkina Faso. The type of technology that Kenya is dreaming of is now happening in Burkina Faso. The type of technology that Ivory Coast had been dreaming of is happening in Burkina Faso. What happened to their leaders? You tell me the answer. Thank you very much for watching. This is Intervlog.